my sanity and their lives, I basically picked up a book and read this book and thought, oh, I think I could just about handle half an hour of that a day. Yeah. And that would save my sanity. My grandmother used to knit a lot of the time, so, and she never ever followed a pattern. Mm. Um, but I couldn't, no, that was not one for me to do that. I had to have... A pattern in front of me and yep. um, go that way. But yep. then, after having a family and everything, I made all my children's clothes. And mm-hmm. well, just because it's so enjoyable yeah, and, it's and productive and, yeah. and, and relaxing. Yeah, it is. I think it probably saves a lot of people's sanity. Yeah. yeah. Traveling around and yeah. being a, have something like yeah. nothing to do. Yeah. yeah that's right. Mm. What and do you... then it's so easy because it's just the ball of water. Um, Tuesday. Um, I probably would have been about eight. Yeah. But then I put that down. I think um, from memory it was a book called Cloth Papers or something yeah. like that. And it had like felt cutouts and yeah. things. And it had one page on knitting. And that was it. And that was it. Yeah, yeah, knitting I took up about five, six years ago. Yeah. Because I wanted um, to have cardigans and you couldn't buy them anywhere. So I decided to teach myself now to knit. There was something I read today um, about appreciating handmade um, and valuing that more so, particularly today with so many mass produced things. Um, have something different that's handmade that someone spent time doing, yeah, and it shares that person's care or love for the other person. 